The Joker is perhaps one of the greatest villains ever created in comic books, even without having any superpowers. His true appeal lies in his sheer insanity and how it infects the lives of everyone he comes into contact with, even his avid readers. Recently in Batman number 93, the Joker has actually achieved something fans never saw coming. Batman's wealth. Obviously, this story will end the same way as always, with Batman winning somehow over the Joker, if only because comic continuity demands he wins. But that's the real beauty of the Joker. He will always lose, as even if he kills Batman, the crusade will simply be passed along to someone else, leaving the Joker to try and kill every hero that follows in Bruce's long shadow. However, every time the Joker wins a fight against a hero, kills any number of innocent people, or injures the people close to Batman, he does win. Not in ways that are apparent at first, but instead ways that continually drain the sanity of a child who watched his parents die in front of him, and subsequently decided to dress as a bat to fight people late at night. I am Kirsten from What Culture Comics, and these are 10 times that the Joker won. Number 10, Joker's Endgame. Batman Endgame. It is well known that Joker does not have any superpowers and is almost always portrayed as a normal man, with insanity being his only defining feature. However, in his endgame plan, he was able to convince the Dark Knight that he was actually a metahuman that has been part of Gotham for centuries. Starting with an attack on the Justice League, the Joker was actually able to turn the entire league against Batman using special laughing gas created for each league member. Then it is revealed that one of Batman's allies inside Arkham Asylum was actually the Joker wearing a new face after he had cut off his old one in prison. In fact, the Joker had found a specialised pool of healing liquid similar to a Lazarus pit that gave the Joker near immortality. One after another, the pieces of Joker's final gamble to defeat the caped crusader fell into place. His allies were attacked in horrific ways, with a new Joker gas formula similar to the one used on the Justice League. This gas was spread across all of Gotham, turning thousands of innocent people into insane monsters focused on killing everyone they saw. In the end, the Joker may have lost his final gamble, but he also dealt a massive blow not only to Gotham, but to the Dark Knight as well. Number 9. Killed Lex Luthor's Son Infinite Crisis Infinite Crisis starts out as a massive plan executed by Lex Luthor's son, Alexander. Being the only hero on Earth 3, the world where the Justice League is a crime syndicate, he had formed a plan following Crisis on Infinite Earths to recreate the multiverse in his image, as all Luthers are wont to do. But the young Luthor made several mistakes with his allies and enemies and was defeated. He went into hiding where he encountered the Joker working with his father. The pair were very cross that they had not been allowed to work with Luthor Jr., especially the Joker who burned half of Luther Jr.'s face off with acid and then shot him in the head, killing him. It isn't exactly a master plan brought to fruition or a loved one of Batman's finally biting the bullet, but the Joker inadvertently won. He could be seen as a hero for removing an extremely dangerous threat from the universes forever, even if it was simply because he didn't get invited to the party. Number 8. Proved that Batman enjoys violence. Batman White Knight Batman White Knight is one of those DC classic stories that people will talk about for years to come, and with plenty of good reasons. In this alternate universe storyline, the Joker ends up curing himself of his insanity after a brutal attack by Batman. A cured man, the Joker uses the justice system to his advantage in portraying Batman as the real psycho who never cared about curing the Joker as long as he could beat the poor mentally ill man to a fine pulp. This story shifts the roles of Joker and Batman, making the clown the hero and the Dark Knight the villain. The Joker even apologised to Harley Quinn for all of the abuse that she suffered at his hands. Although, of course, in the end, his mental stability was doomed to end. And it did spectacularly. By the end of the White Knight storyline, the Joker had proven to Batman that he does, in fact, take pleasure in his violence against the criminals of Gotham. In spite of this, Batman decides to keep fighting against the darkness, with a new focus on how he needs to be better as a real hero. Number 7. Framed Batman for his murder. The Dark Knight Returns. Batman has been out of work for decades, which turned the Joker into a vegetable because he was so bored. But when the Dark Knight returned to the world of superheroes, so too does the Joker. Joker is able to have himself released from Arkham on good behaviour. He even shows up to a late night talk show to supposedly talk about how he has changed, but Batman has not. Instead, the Joker releases his deadly laughing gas into the sealed room, killing an estimated 200 people. 
Joker flees the scene, heading into a carnival where he shoots anyone he wants, causing chaos and death until Batman arrives and the pair engage in their final battle. The Joker pushes for his rival to break his one rule, and almost succeeds because Bruce breaks his neck. Yet Batman's snap only paralyzed Joker from the neck down, ensuring he would never be a threat again. But Joker felt dissatisfied by this ending, and thus he broke his own neck, laughing the whole time. When the police arrived, it appeared that Batman killed the Joker. This paints him as a villain in the eyes of the law, and sets up his epic confrontation with the only other active surviving hero, Superman. Number 6. Killed Jason for a while a death in the family. In the death in the family storyline, arguably one of the first indications of the Batman comic series dealing with the darker topics for a more mature audience, the Joker somehow found Jason Todd's long lost mother and convinced her to set a trap for her own son. When Jason arrived to his mother alive and well, he tried his best to bond with her and even wanted to help her with her archaeological work. Instead, Jason quickly found himself trapped inside a warehouse. It was here that he was struck from behind by the Joker, who beat him almost to death with a crowbar in probably the most violent and dark panels ever illustrated in a comic book at the time. Jason and his mother were then tied up and left inside a warehouse with a ticking bomb. Batman knew of this trap and raced towards his partner. He arrived just as the bomb exploded, killing both mother and son. It is one of the biggest Joker victories in comic book history, because he finally succeeded in killing someone truly close to Batman. Number 5. Divided the Bat Family Death of the Family the Joker and Batman approach the ideas of family very differently. The Joker uses his minions as nothing more than pawns, even Harley Quinn, for Batman to beat up while the Joker escapes or executes his plan. After cutting his own face off and then stapling it back on, the Joker decided to initiate a master plan to separate the Dark Knight from his Bat family. He targeted each one of them separately and kidnapped them. He tied Batman's entire roster of close allies to a dinner table, where he then revealed their dishes to contain their own faces, cut off in a similar fashion to the Joker's. This horrifying scene is probably one of the best and one of the tensest moments in the entire New 52 Batman comic run. Thankfully, it ended up being a big practical joke, but the implication remained that the Joker could easily have hurt or killed anyone close to Batman had he chosen to. Number 4. Killed Sarah Essen No Man's Land War, disease, earthquakes, and a complete collapse of society are all the disasters that hit Gotham seemingly at once. These compounding disasters caused the entire city of Gotham to fall into disrepair and be labelled by the US government as a no man's land and abandoned. With no protection, the innocents of Gotham were completely held at the mercy of the many supervillains that inhabit Gotham. This was especially true of the Joker, who was the last to be arrested when the No Man's Land ended, because he decided to time his strike where it would be most effective, on the people closest to the Dark Knight and his allies. The Joker felt targeting Commissioner Gordon's second wife would be a fitting end to his time in No Man's Land, trapping her by kidnapping dozens of innocent babies and then luring Essen into his trap. Held at gunpoint, the Joker tricked Sarah into dropping her gun to save a baby, which he used as a perfect opening to shoot her in the head. The Joker barely escapes Gordon's wrath, laughing after being shot in the leg since it was similar to what the Joker did to Barbara in The Killing Joke. This incident proved to the Joker that no matter what he does, he can always win because killing him would only give him yet another victory. Number 3. Created the Batman Who Laughs Dark Knight's The Batman Who Laughs Probably the most terrifying monster of the DC multiverse, The Batman Who Laughs is the perfect combination of Batman and Joker. When Batman finally struck out against the clown, he finally killed him. Only issue is, the Joker's death would release a toxin that would infect this Batman with a virus that corrupted his mind, turning him into a Joker hybrid with no morals and all of Batman's intelligence. He also would go on to get a set of rabid orphans and a crazy Damian Wayne as the Batman who laughs turns them into his own personal army of horrifying servant Robins. This shows what happens in a world where the Joker truly wins against Batman. Number 2. Created the Injustice Universe Injustice what happens to the world when its biggest superhero becomes its biggest villain? That was a question that has been pondered by comic fans for decades, and the Joker finally gave us an answer. In an epic comic series created as a prequel for the popular fighting game, fans saw the true horror of the Joker impacting the lives of the DC Universe forever. In the Injustice Universe, Joker sprayed Superman with a specialized fear toxin that tricked him into killing a pregnant Lois Lane, who he thought was Doomsday. Lois was also fitted with a dead man trigger that activated a nuclear bomb in 
Metropolis, killing millions. The sheer insanity and violence of the Joker's plan drove Superman to punch the Joker in the chest and rip out his heart. The Joker had done what few could believe possible and turned the most perfect superhero into an insane mass murdering dictator. The Joker made Batman's biggest fear into reality with a simple action that set the Man of Steel against the Dark Knight for a five year long war for the leadership of Earth. Number one, his killing joke. The Killing Joke The Killing Joke is hailed as one of the greatest comic books ever made. In this story, the Joker was found to have escaped from his cell after Batman came to visit him to discuss the vicious cycle of violence the pair were trapped in. Then he attacked Batman in a most unexpected way, by finding where Commissioner Gordon lived and knocking on the door. Instead of Gordon, his daughter and first Batgirl, Barbara, answered the door and was greeted with a shot right into her spine. Barbara fell to the ground and lay there bleeding out while the Joker took advantage of her situation to take photos of of her pain. Joker then kidnapped Gordon and forced him to look at the photos of his daughter in an attempt to drive him insane like the Joker. Batman arrived just in time to save Gordon who had refused to become like the Joker and the pair engaged in yet another great battle, eventually leading to a standstill. The Joker begins to laugh and tells Batman a joke he just remembered. The comic panel pans away as they laugh but it is widely assumed that Batman finally killed the Joker by suffocating him. That ending possibly gives the Joker the win in this fight by not necessarily driving driving the Batman insane, but instead by getting him to break his one rule. And even if he didn't die, the Joker still won by causing untold pain to the Gordon family, with no real repercussions except being thrown back into Arkham Asylum, which he'd eventually escape to harm more innocent lives. And there you go, the 10 times that the Joker won. But let us know your favourites down below. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, as well as the little notification bell to be notified of any new videos coming your way. But for now, I have been Kirsten Rhea from What Culture Comics, and I will see you in the next video.